Like, y'all got to be aware of the things that are pretty much going on in any community. People get consumed by, I mean, just greed. When money starts flowing in or just coming quicker and easier than most people has had in their entire lives. It's a personality switch for most. You have to truly understand that anybody that's going to give you some wisdom is not going to try and sell you something on the back end. Because somebody that truly understands knows that knowledge is free. You don't have to sell people anything. But every community gets overwhelmed with the greed that one starts to see. We have to understand that the love of money is the root of all evil. Not money itself, the love of it. What you would truly do by any means necessary to get it, to get it. This is what's corrupting the soul, the love of money, not money, the love of it. And we see it in every community, every form of society, every leader that gets to a point, they allow the profits to outweigh the placement or the message that needs to be spread or the actions that need to be done. Hey, we got to quit tripping off this shit. We got to quit letting the money and the attention and the fame get to our head and leave all the problems alone simply because we found our solution, individual solution. But for as far as the collective, we've given up on the precipice or the premise of what we even started our journey for in the first place. We really got to take a step back and start looking at ourselves differently. Once we come to a spot in our journey that is, that is blissful, that, it, that has fruits. This is not a point in time where we, where we can change, where we can stop doing the necessary things that got us here in the first place. Because we were supposed to be looking for solutions as a whole and not just as an individual. My men's right here. My day. You know, my men's. <laughs> but um, saying that we all got to understand it don't matter how big we get it, don't matter what we done to get in a position where we garnish attention or we garnish um money or anything we have to understand who we are before we even start the journey right because it is too many scams going on in this world at this point in time where they're just simply putting this place or the position to divide us and once we're divided we can be conquered because we can be misled even more and then we're going to be on a and then once we're done with that, we're going to be on a journey to find something else to fill that same void. When I'm telling you, the scams got to stop. We got to quit playing into the scams. We got to quit worrying about the scams. We got to quit worrying about the BS. And we got to quit being a part of them. We have to do everything from a genuine aspect in our lives. Because right now, it's, it's reckless, man. It is truly reckless and it is unacceptable on any level, any form of fashion. This shit is unacceptable. You don't have to scam the people that follow you. You don't have to scam the people that truly and genuinely want to give you love and have respect for you. You don't have to scam these people. You don't have to play in people's faces like you're one way. And you're not. You don't have to make people believe that you're something you're not. Because at the end of the day, we're all human. 
we're perfect in our own right, but our actions will forever be imperfect because we're going to do what makes us the happiest or put us in the best situation. And that's not necessarily going to always play out best for everybody. And that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying stop trying to portray or act like you do things a certain way. And on the back end, all that shit was ill and void. It never even took place. It was never a part of the design or the makeup of you. Y'all got to really use your intuition. You got to really use your ears and your eyes. You got to see things for what it is. You got to listen to things for what they are. You can't just keep going off interpretation. Because your interpretation can be skewed by emotion. Your your interpretation can be obscured, obscured by monetary gains or value or just materialistic things or materials altogether. Quit compromising the work for the profit. Quit compromising the message just to reap the massages. We are better than this. And to actually get out of a cycle, we have to not be a part of a cycle that is going to torment or put us in a worse predicament or position than we're already in. We don't need to be more divided or separated than we already are. And these scams and all these placations of consciousness or solution driven people or things they all have to cease because we all need to get back to a genuine aspect we cannot allow materials or money to be the reason why we're doing things yes no i'm not saying that no i'm not saying that you cannot be compensated for your work but that is a donation people can donate to your work but wisdom knowledge is free Love is free. Understanding is free. Those things should come from a genuine place. That's it. That's all. Or they shouldn't be done. If somebody wants to donate to you, if somebody wants to help you out, if somebody wants to just simply... Show appreciation for your work. That is fine. But don't try and give people knowledge. And then, oh, you got to give uh, the people that pay separate knowledge. Or these people. Do. No, no. Knowledge is free. It's free. Wisdom is free. Anybody that wants it, needs it, they get it. That's why everybody would love to have a. You know what I'm saying? The the old man on the block, or big mama on the block, or you know what I'm saying? Paw Paw. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 the past on them. Everybody wants that one person they can just come to, talk to, get anything from. And that's either money, wisdom, knowledge, help, motivate, whatever is necessary. But it's going to come from a genuine place and it's not going to cost them a dime. Only thing it's going to cost them is time. And I'm telling you, that's the point and place that we need to be in. All this extra shit got to cease. So if they're trying to give you wisdom, if they're trying to give you knowledge, if they're trying to get you to understand and know God, the most high, understand it will never be sold if it's real. It's going to be given. Given. So use your, what y'all call discernment. Man, y'all just, y'all just got that damn word. Use your intu ingenuity. Ingenuity, use your integrity, use your eyes, use your ears, and really use your understanding. So you can understand and understand how things, how people, and how situations need to go be, how to go about them, and how they need to be. We can't keep doing this shit to ourselves, and we can't keep allowing it to be. We can't keep allowing it to be done to us. At some point, we got to take a stand.